right, my name is Chris Bryan. I work for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in the Fort Worth District Operations Division. I work in the Asset Management and the Flood Risk Management Business Line. Uh, today we're at the Stillhouse Hollow Discharge Conduit and we are here with an autonomous vehicle known as the Dambot. It's a fully autonomous vehicle that enables us to do a robotic inspection of the conduit without the need to put personnel such as myself into a confined space. Uh, my name is Anton Nichaev. I am a research computer scientist at ERDIC. It's Engineering Research and Development Center and I work in Information Technology Lab. Today was one of our pilot outings for the DAMBOT system, which is a robotic inspection system for our, our dams. Uh, what it does, it arrives to a dam, we set it up, we check if the sensor is still working, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to reconstruct the dam all the way through and reconstruct it in 3D world. So it's almost like a digital surrogate of the dam. So uh, people don't have to go in and take smaller cameras and all the equipment that needs to happen there to go through the dam and take pictures of the dam. This can give you better data uh, overall. Uh, you can record year to year and it's a lot easier to do. The goal for today was to use the, the Argo platform known as DamBot to do a full inspection of the discharge conduit. We weren't able to accomplish that mission today. This was the first time that DamBot has come out to Texas and put into use. So there's some challenges that we didn't re really anticipate, such as the algae and the slippery slope of the apron. Uh, we tried to make entry. We just couldn't do it safely. So we decided to stop operations for today until we devise a plan to do it safely. So we have a very large team actually. We are uh, over 50 strong in terms of robotic development. This is across many, many projects. So uh, the robotic efforts span across our military and civil works needs. So it's full chunk of various engineers that make this work. It, robotics is such a diverse field that you have to have a deep knowledge of many, many different areas. 